picking up where we left off in the last interval, uh, sorry, the last video, we saw that in the major scale, from the first note of the scale to every other note of the scale, was either a perfect or major interval. Unisons, fourths, fifths, and octaves are perfect. Seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths are major. So in this video three, we're going to talk about perfect and major intervals, how to identify them, and how to construct them. Okay, so first of all, let's identify some intervals. Here's an interval, A to E. Okay, step number one, we count A, B, C, D, E, so this is a fifth. Next, we want to look at the key signature of the bottom note. If you remember your key signatures, in A major, we had F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. That means the fifth note of an A major scale would, in fact, be E. This note is the fifth note of the A scale. The A scale would go A, B, C sharp, D, E, up to E. Since this is the fifth note of this scale, this is a perfect fifth. Let's keep looking at A since we can see the key signature right here. If I saw this note to this note, okay, my first step would be to count A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is a seventh. Then you ask yourself, this top note, is this the seventh note of this scale? And since G sharp is in the key signature, the answer would be yes. Now, since this is the seventh note of this scale, this is a major seventh. Let's do one more identification using this same bottom note. If you saw this interval, you would count ABC, this is a third. And then you think of the key signature of the bottom note, A, B, C sharp, A, B, C, and then the key signature of the bottom note is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. You see a C sharp there. Therefore, this note is the third note of this scale, and this is a major third. Let's do a few identification that are not uh, just all the same bottom note. What if I do A, sorry, B to G? B to G is B, C, D, E, F, G. That's six. And then if you think of the bottom note B, the key signature is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, um, D sharp, A sharp. This note is not in the key signature here. So this is not a major sixth. We'll learn in the next lesson what to call this interval, but it is not a major sixth. Right now we're only looking at perfect intervals and major intervals. So if we had B and we had the note E, B, C, D, E is a fourth. The key signature of B is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. So E natural is the fourth note of the B scale. This is a perfect fourth. Now let's talk about constructing major and perfect intervals above a note. Let's go to the treble clef. I'm going to go to E and say we want a major third above E. Step number one, EFG has to be some kind of G. Step number two, to make it major, we need to think of the key signature of the bottom note, which is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. By putting the sharp on, that makes that a major third. Let's do one more. Let's do A flat, and we want a perfect fifth above A flat. So we count A, B, C, D, E. That gives us the fifth. 
Now we think of the key signature of the bottom note, which is B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. And you see how there's E flat in the key signature. So the note E flat will be the perfect fifth above A flat. In the next video, I'll explain what happens when a note is not a major third or a perfect fifth, if it happens to be a half step larger or a half step smaller.